Hello and welcome. Let's take a few moments to explore some of the built-in accessibility features in Microsoft Excel. What we have here is a basic document with several sheets. Each sheet has some different data on it along with some bar charts and we want to make it more accessible. The first thing we do is click on review. And this is the same whether you're on Microsoft Windows or a Mac machine. When you click on review, then you have the option to check accessibility. Clicking on that gives you a, a slide out uh, drawer from the right here, the accessibility checker with your results, both errors and the type of errors and where they are, as well as warnings. Those are things that are not quite errors, but content that should be ch changed to make things even more accessible. And you see when I hover over these, you get uh, descriptions of what those things are. Below your results, there are explanations as to why you should fix a particular item and steps for how to fix it. So for example, I have an error of some missing alternative text. And it explains here that alternative text is important for people who can't see the screen and so on. And I have two items, a chart on sheet one and a chart on sheet two, both of which that need some alternative text. So if I click on that, or this one, you can see I'm automatically taken to the item in question so that I can go ahead and fix it. And this says you wanna select the item and right click and choose format and then go to layout and properties and expand alt text and then enter a title and description. So let's do that. Let's right click. We'll go to format the chart area that's going to open the format chart area window over here on the right we can get back to the accessibility checker by clicking on that tab so in the format chart area we want to go to the properties and there's alt text so if we expand that we can add a title and a description for this table and if you need a refresher or a reminder, you hover over the little eye and it'll explain what's happening here. So I can give this a title. I can say uh, yarn ordered by color and a description. All right, so the point of this is more the technical aspects of how to change things. We'll be going over writing um, rich descriptions of complex images in another activity. Suffice it to say that your description should include enough information to get across the point of your data story and in a way that is logical and as concise as possible. Right. So some description here. All right. So once I do that and I go back to the accessibility checker, you'll see that that ch chart on sheet two is no longer listed because I fixed it. And I know that now I can fix um, chart two sheet one in the same way by clicking on it, going there, writing a title and a description. And again, right clicking, Format chart, go to properties, alt text, and filling out a title and a description. Okay. As far as warnings go, we have default sheet names. So naming the sheets is very helpful for navigation purposes. Um, it's hard to remember what is sheet one, what is sheet two, but sheet one renamed as um, total yards of fiber content or something along those lines 
that's much easier to remember when you're navigating with a screen reader or something to let you know what's on this sheet without having to read the entire thing or have your screen reader read it. So now that I've renamed that sheet, you'll see it's not listed in my warnings anymore. And I can do the same with sheet two. I clicked on it. I can rename um, and say uh, yarn by color or whatever your table is going to be. So that's a brief intro to the accessibility features in Microsoft Excel. I do hope that you take advantage of this wonderful built-in feature to improve the accessibility of your data tables and charts. Thank you.